name or give the structures of the following compounds so these are all alkenes or alkynes because we are in conjugated systems so for the first one let's go ahead and number everything out one two three four five six seven so it's a hept something on the fifth carbon we have a methyl group and we are numbering from one because that's where the double bond is okay and so the name of this compound then will be five methyl hept and there are two double bonds so we have to give the location of both so one three diene now we have to see if there is any e or z in there as well so between uh, one and two there is no e and z because terminal double bonds don't really have e or z um, especially if there are two hydrogens okay on the same side so here there is no e or z but between three and four there is so we have to indicate that and so here it's actually going to be e so we just write that now do you have to write three e uh, most likely not over here because uh, there's only one E or Z, okay? Because the first one did not really have any stereochemistry, so you don't have to say anything else, okay? This is all just fine. Let's look at the next one. So this is a cyclic compound, and we start the numbering from the double bond. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this substituent right here, yes, you're right, it's actually a vinyl. So simply said, this is going to be two vinyl cyclohex and the location of the double bond. So one, three, diene. So the diene tells us that we have two double bonds. So that's the second one. Now for the third one, pent one in four ion. Okay, so I have a triple bond in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw it out um not in a legal way all right so i have five carbons so here are my five carbons on the first one i have an ene so one two three four and on the fourth one i'm supposed to have a triple bond so if you want to draw this for me on the homework i will accept it although it's not really right because you're supposed to actually draw your triple bond uh, in a straight line so you follow the bond angles so that's five four three two one and so let's see there we go one two three four five okay so that would be the structure for this one then one two three four five just to make sure okay all right so that's um this one now here um the in and the ein which one gets priority uh the in will get the priority um, if the double bond was um, in a different location than the triple bond, so whatever comes first then, okay? So that's what you go with. But if you have a double bond, triple bond, give the double bond the priority. All right, let's look at the next one. In this one, I have a hex 2,4-diene, and I'm also given the stereochemistry over here. So let's go ahead and draw the structure out first without any stereochemistry so we know where our double bonds are. So it's a hex, so 6, 1, 2, 3, four five six so on the second i have a double bond so two three four five six so here i have a double bond now the two is supposed to be a z and the four is supposed to be an e e is really trans so in which case the um heavier atoms are going on the opposite side and z is of course on the same side or cis okay so you can say it either way when you have two hydrogens which means that my cis should be drawn like this okay because now i have the hydrogens going in the same side over here and then the rest i can draw let me see one two three four five six so there we are okay so that's the structure for this one and if i were to draw this without the numbers then this is what it would be okay so in any case that's the nomenclature so mind your e's and z's as you're doing the naming 